Hi guys, welcome to this new video of Joystick in which we are going to find the longest common substring between two strings using dynamic programming. Before we jump on to the problem, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos of dynamic programming. Now, let's see what the problem is. So we have two strings. One is family one and the other one is Emily IOE. We need to find the longest common substring. As you can see, the longest common substring is displayed on the screen and it is MILY. Its length is 4. So we are going to find that out using dynamic programming. Now most students get confused between longest common substring and the longest common subsequence. So as you can see that the longest common subsequence will come out to be MILY OE because O and E also form, uh, form part of the subsequence and they are common characters between the two strings. But since they are not consecutive in order, hence they do not form the part of the substring. Only M, I, L, Y is consecutive and that is why it is the longest common substring between the two strings. Now let's see how to solve this problem using dynamic programming. So here we have our setup. We have our matrix which we are going to fill to find out the length of the longest common substring and we are going to use the same matrix to find out the components of the substring. Now I have always spoken about the pillar, pillars of uh, a dynamic programming problem and uh, there are two pillars to this problem. One is uh, the first string and uh, the second one is the second string. So as you can see the first string forms the columns over here and uh, the elements of the second string form the rows of the matrix. The default row and the default column have been filled with zeros because uh, when the element is 0, then no way we are going to have any substring. So that is why the default row has been filled with zeros. Now let's start filling this matrix. So we are going to compare each element over here with each element over here. So whenever there is no match, we are going to fill that particular cell with 0 and whenever there is a match, we are going to go one step back diagonally and whatever the value is there we are going to add one over it, one to it and fill it in the corresponding cell so let's start so as you can see that uh, uh, our first element is e we are going to compare it with f since they don't match hence we are going to populate it with zero now we have e and uh, the second element is A, so they don't match, hence we are going to fill this cell with 0. We have E and we have M, so they also don't match, so 0 will be populated in this cell. Similarly, E doesn't match with either I, L, Y, O, N, so we are going to fill these cells with zeros. So as you can see all these cells I am filling with zeros. Now we find our first match because this E matches with this E. So what we are going to do we are going to go one step diagonally back. So this is the value this is the cell which we are going to take the value from here the value is 0 we will add 1 to it and hence we will get 1 as the value which we will populate in this cell. Now we will move to this element. So M is neither equal to F nor equal to A. We will populate these two cells with zeros. Now M over here matches with this M. So what we are going to do? we are going to go back diagonally. So this is 
the cell which we are going to take the value from here the value is 0 we add 1 to it we get 1 as the value which we will populate here now m doesn't match with uh, either i l y or any of these values over here so we will populate 0 in all these cells let's populate all these cells with zeros now we move to i now i neither uh, matches with f nor a nor m so these cells will be populated with zeros now i matches with this i so we are going to go diagonally back here the value is 1 we add 1 to it we get the value as 2 now i doesn't match with either of these values or either of these elements so we populate all these cells with zeros so now as you can see this cell represents the optimized solution of a sub problem at that sub problem consists of two strings the two strings are f a m i and e m i now as you can see the solution is 2 so c m i and m i is the common substring and the length is 2 so this cell is giving you the optimized solution of a sub problem now we move to this element l now l doesn't match with f or a or m or i all these values will be populated as zeros now we get our first match over here l matches l so we are going to go back diagonally here the value is 2 we add 1 to it we are going to get 3 now l is neither equal to y nor o nor n nor e so we'll populate all these values with zeros we come to y now y is neither equal to f nor a nor m nor i nor l so all these cells will be populated again with zeros now this y is equal to this y so we'll go back diagonally here the value is 3 we add 1 to it we get 4 so y is neither equal to o nor n nor e so we get 0 0 0 now i is neither equal to f nor a nor m so here the value is going to be 0 now this i is equal to this i so we are going to go one step back we are going to go one step diagonally back here the value is 0 we add 1 to 8 this value becomes 1 now this i is uh, neither equal to l nor y nor o nor n nor e so what we are going to get we are going to get zeros over here all these cells will be populated with zeros now this o is neither equal to f nor a nor m nor i nor l nor y so all these cells will be populated with zeros all right we are doing great then this o will be compared with this o and there is a match so we are going to go one step back diagonally here the value is 0 we add 1 to it it gets 1 now similarly since uh, o is uh, neither equal to n nor e so we are going to get 0 and 0 now this e is uh, neither equal to f nor a nor m nor any of these values 
so all these cells will be populated with zeros now this e matches this e so we go one step back diagonally we add one to it we'll get one over here now unlike uh, other dynamic programming problems we are not going to get the final solution in this cell rather we'll have to scan the entire matrix to look for the maximum value and that maximum value will form the length of the longest common substring so wh when we scan this matrix we are going to find the maximum value as 4 so this 4 is going to be our length and let me mark it because from here our backtracing will start diagonally and th till the time we reach 0 these corresponding characters over here are going to form the components of our substring so from here we go one step back diagonally so four first four uh, so y becomes the first character of our substring we start from the back we go one step back diagonally i'm going to highlight it now l becomes our second component from the last and then we go one step back diagonally now i becomes our third component from the last okay then we go back further diagonally and M becomes our fourth element from the last and now we are encountering a zero so here are search ends so as you can see that the substring has come out to be MILY which is equivalent to the substring that uh, was there in the screen earlier when the problem started so here uh, we have the algorithm if xi is equal to yj and x and y are two strings then mij mij represents a matrix cell m represents our matrix mij is uh, equal to mi minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 so the diagonally opposite cell plus one the time complexity of this dynamic programming problem is uh, o within braces m into n so with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, learned from it i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech thank you